Hey guys, welcome to another video of Wholesale X. Today I'm going to show you the new and advanced WooCommerce Wholesale Registration Form Builder of Wholesale X. With this form builder, you get tons of premium design and you can have your own custom fields, conditional custom fields, and also you can add fields to your WooCommerce registration page as well as your billing page. You can even make them mandatory. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we need to go to the registration form section of Wholeselex. Here we will find the backbone of your registration page. We have the sign up form as well as the login to your account form. And if you want, you can hide the form title and even hide the login form. It's all up to you. We can add fields. There are default user fields as well as extra fields which you can customize but we will talk about custom fields later in the video so stay tuned for that so right now we're going to take the default confirm password field and see how we can customize it and look at the possibilities that we have with whole selects to see the options available click on the little settings icon of your desired field in the setting pop-up, there are two different fields, one for field settings, another for field conditions. Right now, we will focus on field settings and we will talk about field conditions later in the video along with custom fields. At first, we have the field status button. With this button, you can enable or disable the field at your convenience. So you don't have to recreate a field. You can just turn it on or off anytime you want. Then we have the required option. When you enable the required option, this particular field becomes absolutely mandatory for your potential user to fulfill in order to go ahead with the process of registration. And with the hide label option, you can hide the label or display the label if you want. With the exclude role items options, you can hide this particular field from certain user roles within your website. You can even change the field label so and it is fully customizable so you can make registration forms with different languages if you want but right now I'm going to stick to English and enter type password again. Um, for field name you can't change field name for default user fields but you can change the help message if you want and I'm going to keep it optional and there it is. So just as I said, I'm going to talk about field conditions later in the video. So don't worry, you're not missing out on that. Before we talk about field conditions, let's talk about the customization option because the visuals of your registration form is also important. And there are tons of customization settings. We'll go through them one by one. But first, let's check out the premium design. And there are a ton of premium design for you to choose from. The best things about these designs are they are not reliant on any theme. They have absolutely no theme dependency. And you can import these beautiful designs with just a click of a button. And the field that you previously made won't vanish, they're gonna stay there. But what's this black and gold? It's so tacky. I don't like black and gold. Let's reset, reset. Okay. But if you don't want any of the premium designs and you want to create your own design, you can do that because we have tons of customization options. You can select your input style, color settings, typography settings. There's everything that you need. So let's go through them. First, we have the field settings. And within the field settings there are, it's divided between sign in form tab and the sign up form tab. So you can customize them individually. So this is the layout of the sign up form and I'm gonna customize the sign up form. And there is different tab for normal, active, and the warning. So normal is, I'm going to show you with an example. I'm going to change the input text to, I don't know, red. Right now it's black, as you can see. But when I change the input text to red, it won't change now because I kept that field as active. So when I click away, from the tab you can see it becomes red because it's normal it's at its normal state right now and yeah so that's how it works it's pretty simple you just have to change whatever you like and for active i'm gonna change the input text to blue 
and right now it's normal and it's active. As you can see, the text has been changed to the color blue. And you can even customize the design for the warning signs. For example, a potential user doesn't fill out the required information that they need to provide. Uh, so you want to warn them, you can change the color of the border, input text, and so on. This, you can see it's red right now, you can change it to any color, you can change the text color, and so on. Moving on to the button settings. As you can see, there is separate tab for sign in and sign up, and normal and hover, and even the container has its own tab for the main uh, container the sign up container and so on. I change the color of the main container to red, sign in container to, I don't know what that is, sign up to, okay, this is a very bad design. I'm gonna reset again. But you can see the settings are very simple and you can get creative the way you want. Just to remind you, there is a different tab for the sign in form and sign up form. And under sign in form, there is normal active warning and under the sign up form there's normal active warning as well moving on we have the typography settings we have the typography for the field you have the tab for label and input as well you can customize it the same goes for the button you can change the size limit weight and so on then the size and spacing settings are pretty simple as well just customize it the way you want it there you can change the spacing and size with the container this is also separated for the sign in form sign up form and the main form so they're different tabs for each of them um, the sign in okay this doesn't look right i'm gonna switch it back nope reset oh good it's brand new so yeah that's about it for design customization you can even move around the fields like you want. You can have double field in a row. Just click on the icon and add the field that you want. And if you don't like it, you can switch it back. Then you can even drag and drop the field the way you want. Just drag and drop and position it however you like. Now let's move on to the custom fields, the extra fields. And this is where things get really interesting. As you can see, there are quite a few custom fields or extra fields. We will go through some of them. Let's start with radio. Yeah, I guess radio is fine. And you can customize it just like I showed you in the field setting options. They are pretty much the same besides the important WooCommerce option. You can add this field to your WooCommerce registration, add the custom field to the billing and make it even mandatory in your billing. So that's a really good option to have. Let's change the field label to are you eligible for tax disability. With whole selects, you can exempt tax from people who are eligible. We have a video on that on our YouTube channel. You can go give it a look. I will leave a link on the description below. Uh, let's get back to our custom field. Now let's take a look at the options that we provided in the radio form. You can change the options the way you like. But here is a very important part. The initial part is the value, the actual value that will be registered into your website. The latter part is what's going to be displayed in the form. I'm going to change the value to yes and no as you can see yes it's with the small y and the value is with the small y and what will be displayed to the user is the capital y and you can also change the help message i'm gonna turn switch it to optional yeah and there it is we have the yes and no buttons the radio field that we wanted. Similarly, we can add as many field, custom fields that you, that we want. There's a checkbox, the file upload field, the select field. It has values that you can add, add as many values as you want. The email field, the number field, the date field, and the good ones the text and the text area fields 
you can customize them and turn into whatever you want. So now it's time for the big one, the conditions. As you can see, the last field that I have is, are you eligible for disability exemption? I want to add another field, but I only want it to be displayed in the form if certain criteria are met. And it will be easier for you guys if I show you with an example. So I'm gonna take this field, text field, and I want it to be only displayed in the form when the answer to the previous field is yes. Are you eligible for disability exemption? If they select yes, and only then this particular field will be displayed to them. To do so, first we need to go to the settings pop-up and to the field condition tabs. Here, we can decide if you want to show this particular field or hide this particular field if these conditions are met. There can also be multiple conditions. If you want, you can select the operator to be all, so all the conditions are needed to be met, or just any if you want a single condition to be met. As I mentioned previously, I want this field only to be displayed when the user selects yes to the are you eligible for tax disability tax exemption. That's why I have the visibility as shown and since there is only one operator, I'm just gonna click on any. Now we're gonna set the conditions. So in the field section, we will select the field against which the condition is needed to be applied. For this example, it's gonna be the disability tax exemption. Now it's time to set the conditions. It can be equal to the value we set or not equal to the value we set. Um, for this example, I'm gonna select equal to because I want the condition to be applied when the user selects yes in the disability tax exemption field. Now to get the value, we need to go back to the setting of the field that we selected. And it's very simple. You just have to click on the settings icon of the field that we selected in the condition. And you can see the values right over there. And I want it yes, so I'm gonna take the value. Remember, I told you that prior part is the value and the latter part is the um, what's gonna be displayed in the form. So I'm gonna take the prior part. Now we're gonna go back to the field we wanted to set the conditions to and get back to the condition tab and enter the value that we just got. Gonna customize the field and change the field label to disability identification then change the placeholder text to enter id here now we're gonna save the changes and see if it works in the front end of course it's gonna work let's go incognito refresh the page yeah there's our field are you eligible for disability tax exemption i'm gonna click on yes right now it's no so you can see the field is not displayed. So when I click on yes, the field appears. And that's with one condition applied. And you can have multiple conditions applied as well. So let me show you how you can have multiple conditions. I'm gonna go back to the registration form builder page of whole selects. I'm gonna add another tab, another field, sorry. I'm gonna take select row, drag it towards top. Now we're gonna make things a bit more complex. I have the select use role field and I want the disability right exception role to be selected for the, dis are you eligible for disability exemption field to be shown? Like that's also a condition. So if you don't select the disability wax exemption user role, the are you eligible for disability exemption field and disability identification field will not be displayed if you don't select the particular user role. Even though it sounds kind of complex, it's pretty simple. It's very similar to the conditions we set for disability identification field. So once again, I'm going to go to the settings section of are you eligible for disability exemption, go to field condition and select the field. I'm going to select select roles, conditions equal to, 
and to get the value i will go to the select role section uh select role settings and copy the value the prior part i'm going to copy this i'm going to go back to where we were setting the conditions and paste the value i'm going to set to operator all and visibly to show and that's about it then we need to set another condition in the disability identification field go to field conditions right now the operator is any i'm gonna add another condition select select role field select condition as equal to and enter the value that we got from select role field and i'm gonna switch the operator to all because i want all of these conditions to be met I'm going to save the changes again and let's go to an incognito tab and see how it looks. This is how to reset the page. And as you can see, there is a select role option. The other two fields are not displayed. I'm going to select the role against which I set the conditions to and there it is. But the identification field is still not shown unless you press yes to the are you eligible for tax disability exemption and when you don't select the role both of the field are disappeared again and yeah that was simple simple enough i guess and so you can get creative with conditions if you want to you can set different condition have multiple conditions so with that our registration form is kind of ready uh, i can get the short code from this icon over here but before that i want to make some tweaks I want to select a premium design. Which one should we get? I think template 3 looks good. I'm going to use this. And there it is. Save the changes again. Mm. Savings done. Now it's time to get the short code. And you can set specific registration page for different user roles. You can even get login forms with it or without. It's up to you. The short code is copied. Uh, I think I'm gonna paste it on to a new page. A new page. Yeah, and you don't even need the short code block. You can just control V or, you know, just paste it. And it's ready. So with that, our registration form is good to go and guess what you can even select the form role from the block settings you can even enable or disable the login form if you want to i'm gonna add the pages name the new registration form and that's about it for this video thank you for watching if you have any more questions or suggestions feel free to drop them in the comment section below before I leave, I'm going to show you how it looks in the front end in an incognito mode. Yeah. Thank you for watching.